Chitui Governor Charity Ngilu called on women to fight for higher elective posts in 2022 general elections. Speaking at a UN Women Plenary Session, targeting how women political leaders can move up to higher levels of political leadership, Ngilu called on the 47 elected women representatives not to seek re-election in their current posts, but shift and run as a member parliament in the constituency in their counties. She further urged the UN women and other groups to move to the grassroots and identify women leaders there, train them and motivate them to run for elective offices. Governor Ngilu told them that it doesn't matter which party one seeks to be elected on, what matters is how you distinguish yourself, how you plan for your people, one's capabilities, and what people see when they look at you. She challenged the women to take advantage of President Uhuru Kenyatta's hope of Kenya having a female president. Seven women to run now for constituencies. We need to ensure right now that a woman who has already run from from position of a woman rep does not run for woman rep again. Prepare yourself to run for a constituency. So that I think that is where we need to start. I'm here today as the governor of Kitui County because of the journey that I have tra traveled. Not alone. You had Professor Maria Zomo in front of you here. And the Professor, please don't keep on reminding people where you picked me from. <laughs> but one morning, but one morning in 1992, after I had done my household chores, I read the newspaper in the morning. I remember the day so vividly. 18th of July 1992 was a Saturday, and there was a big advert coming from the National Commission on the Status of Women, Professor Maria Zomo, and asking all Kenyan women to come for a meeting at the YMCA, not even YWCA, that we meet there to organize how we are going to run for office. It was about midday when I had finished my housework, and I said, let me go and see and hear what women are saying. So I sat right at the back, and she was in the front here. And even the way she's speaking down, she has cooled down. She has turned down. She was saying, who is running for which office? You, which, which office? You, which office? And there were so many women who were ready to run for office. They were sitting right at the back. And somehow, almost using the word, she looked like crazy. She came straight to me and said, and you, which office are you running for? I said, no office. I am a business person, I'm a housewife, truly, and no business like this. She said, where do you come from? I said, I come from Kitui. Which Kitui? I said, Kitui Central. Write her name down. She's running for Kitui Central. <laughs> I said, it's not possible. And then my name was written down. And she called out all the names, and she said, all those whose names I have called remain behind. I obeyed, and I remained behind. And then she said, what is it that you cannot run? Why, what are you? Tell me, give me your CV. And I told her, and she said, we'll train you. Then Professor Kabira came on board, and the Mary Gachu came on board, and they said, we'll train you. And they came on the ground to train me. It's true, I didn't know how I could speak in front of people. I, 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 I told them I can't speak in front of people. They said, you will. And in 1992, 29 December, I was a member of parliament of Kitui Center. Wow. And of course, I was also looking at what Madame Niva was doing. She was just in Kitui West, and I kept on going to her. She was in Kano, I was in opposition. But Niva never failed to tell me what to do, even when I'm in the opposition. <laughs> And the one who always went to attack to tell her, why are you in Kano? Leave Kano alone. She told me to remain where you are. She never attacked me. Thank you very much, Niva, for in fact mentoring me and helping me to be what I have become in Kitui. I will treasure you. And I think you now need to be on the second leg to continue mentoring and helping training women, not only in Kitui, but also in Kenya. Therefore, when we talk about the journey that we have got to travel as women, we also got to identify. It happened that when I also was running at that time, my father had given me warning. He said to me, you are somebody's wife. 
you are my daughter. You can be killed in politics. You can be jailed in politics. You can be, there is a lot of mudslinging. And all this wait for them. I said, no, I'll go ahead. I have seen all that. In fact, 2016, when it was obvious that I was going to be the next governor of Kitui County, we were walking with my friend, and it truly, we were to be killed on that day. My friend was killed. Somebody just drove a heavy fire engine on us. I was saved because I was pushed off the road. The former mayor of Kitui was killed on that day. So this is some of the things that make women not run for office. Because first of the fear, because of the violence that we experience, and therefore the preparation for women have got to be real. I want to urge the UN women and other women's organizations not to sit and wait for women to come to office. Please have UN women machinani. Let us identify women. Let us join the women. Let us get all these women who can mentor their whole in this room. Agree to ensure that they can be with them. I have seen women, once you just give them that injection, like the injection I was given, really come up very well. I have seen Cecil Barire come up. She was one of my presidential activists in 1997, working in my office. In 2002, she was a member of parliament. I have seen Paris, who I also helped so much. I have seen Honorable Rachel Kaki, among others. And uh, uh, you know, I have also seen now our speaker, Nairobi, Count Assembly. I mean, we have now women who have come out. So my advice is that we have a long way to go, but we can conquer. We can put that to that majority of women leaders in that house. We should not be discouraged. We should all together come and ensure that we have a place where we can get all these women to come. Honorable Mother Karua has such experience that we need to tap on that. She, the other day, told me we must have professions of professors of living, living experience. Those who have gone through all this experience that we all have now. So that, you know, Dr. Gachukia, Niva have a place where they can bring women, train them, and ensure that they can run for office. And then you ensure that you go down to see. I could never have known how I was going to bring out the issues. I have now become a very good planner. A woman must plan. You must have a strategy. You must say, what is it that people will see in you? What capacity do you have? What capability do you have? How do you interest them? How do you distinguish yourself? I never would imagine that I would have been the governor of Ketui when I was running again is two very important and senior people, a senator and a governor city. But people say that we know your capacity and we are going to elect you. So I think we need to continuously encourage women, tell them that they can do it, and of course proper planning. Uh, in the county where I was running to become the governor of Kuti, we had a strong party on the ground, where the person who was being supported by the strong party jubilee, there was another one who was being supported by the strong party in NASA. And I was saying between with nobody to support me. And people still decided. So I do want to encourage women and tell them, you are good in what you do. But don't feel that you are going to give it to you. A seat that you want, you must really fight for it. And you must go for it. Like there is no other time to go for it. You need just to see. We are removing someone from an office that they want to be in. But recently, I'm so happy I heard the president saying that he's hoping that we could have a woman president in this country. This is the time. They are all sitting in this room. Why can't we come together? There is Niva here. There is we are all here. Why can't we agree this is a direction we women are going in this country? So that at least, as we go to change the constitution this time, if the president is going to be a man, then the prime minister must be a woman. If that is not the case, the deputies, let us say this is the minimum that we are going to go for in this new leadership.
But if we don't go down and tell the women and the leaders that are going to be elected why we do it, and stop being too nice to them, a lot of times it doesn't pay to look like we are the ones serving tea. In fact, they refuse to serve tea. Yes. They refuse to serve tea. When they come in a room, tell them to serve tea. When the food is served, tell them food is on the table. But we have accepted to always be there for them. We want them for once to be there for us. Therefore, I want to ask, as I, as I finish, that um, these UN women, we want you in Mashinani, we want you, we would like you to act with us, to partner, so that we can now to go to the 290 constituencies, identify women like Maria Zomo did, train them. We have seen a long journey that the women of Samburu and the women of the Masai land and the coastal area have traveled. Matter of fact, there is one other place that we have got to meet. There is a place called Meru. We have never had one single Meru woman elected. And I want to ask why. You look at Western province, there are not many. I don't even think we have one. Now, Rift Valley has come out very well because of Niva, Lower Region, Lower Eastern Region has come up very well. Nairobi is coming up. Central Province has come up very well because of Mother Karua. So what else are we supposed to do? We still now got time to go and encourage and get women, be trained, be prepared to go and run for office so that we can increase the numbers. Professor Margaret Kobia, the Cabinet Secretary for Gender Affairs, who was the chief guest, supported the governor's sentiment and added that the positive impact one impacts on their electorate is what guarantees them a re-election or higher political offices. The launch was attended by Zebib Eskavuma, the UN Women Country Director, CS Margaret Kobia, CAS Resho Shebesh, MPs Alice Wahome, MP Kandara, Fatuma Dulo, Senator Isiolo County, Ex-Minister Martha Karua, Miss Caroline Agwanda, Lina J.B. Kilimo, Rachel Kaki MP Kitwi South, Milo Diambo MP Mbita, Chair KSNYA Water Institute Wavinyandeti, Ross Buyu Women Rep Kisumu, and other elected women leaders.